Michael, with the momentum that you're building up as a team at the moment, are one or two things becoming a little bit easier, even if it's only psychologically? Well, it's, it's about feeling around the camp when you're winning games, but the feeling within the camp is that we know we've still got a long way to go. Like I said, it is baby steps. Um, in the league, we've only gone unbeaten in two. We've taken four points from two games, which is a positive, but we need to keep building and building and building because there is a little bit of a gap. We need to, we need to get back into the pack, um, which is the, the next challenge. Yeah, how important is it that you stay out of the, the bottom two, first and foremost, as well as obviously looking to, to close that gap on the teams above? Well, the, the, the psychological edge from last week was we knew that if we won the game, we'd go above Notts County. So all you can do is you know, just keep hopefully picking them off one at a time um, without getting too far ahead. So we're not going to say, oh, we're going to fly up the league and finish mid-table. Now, that's not the case at all. We're still, we are in a dogfight. And I think uh, a couple of weeks ago, someone said to me, what is the aim this year? The aim is to stay up. Now, in two months' time, you might reevaluate and you might go, right, well, we might be able to do this. But the first and foremost, the first aim is stay in the league. So, like I said, get back in the group. Um, that, that's the next challenge. And with those baby steps that you've been taking, how ready do you feel now to take on one of the teams who are near the top of the table? We've played quite a few of them recently. Um, they're going well. I think they've done a good job. Uh, young, athletic. Um, so it's, I think the next two games are, well, two, the, next, the Saturday, Tuesday, two tough games coming up and it'll be a real test. You know, I think um, Berry, uh, from what we've seen, uh, they're a very, very good team, but first and foremost, uh, the win at home the other night, I think that was a, another psychological thing. It's been a while since we've won at home in a non checker trade game. So that's another, another, I don't know, another thing off our back, really. And Newport, up until last weekend, they'd had a bit of a wobble in, in the league. Does that make any difference that the team sort of now has, again, like you, if you like, got a monkey off their back? We know what we're going to get from them. They've got a couple of ways of playing. Like I said, they've got good energy in the team. Um, we, have, we have to deliver another performance. We've kept four clean sheets. Can we do it? Can you do it again? That's... The challenge is, can you keep doing it, T churning out? And the other night, it was again, it was 45 minutes, we kept the ball really well, and then we dogged it out and then showed a little bit of quality. So it's finding a way to win. You can't always play well. You can't always slick it around because pitches, conditions dictate sometimes. But the key is finding a way to, whether it's grind the result out or just playing really well. It's whatever happens on the day, but the key is winning. It's not the longest of journeys for them as well, so they should bring a few. Does a derby atmosphere just sort of help a little bit? Who knows? It's Hopefully it generates a good atmosphere. Um, but we, we need to generate our own atmosphere by... If we play well and we, we show good heart and legs and good energy, then the supporters will buy into that because they'll always, they'll always buy into people running around and winning tackles and things like that. But... Then added in a little bit of quality. Like I said the other day, we gave the ball away a couple of times the other night, but when you're asking them to play, that's the risk you have to take. Because if you ask them just to whack it down the pitch all the time, they'll never give the ball away, so to speak, but they're giving it away every time. So it's having that confidence and that bravery, and hopefully the supporters will see that that's what we're trying to do. Alex Adai impressed as a sub the other night. What's he got to do to turn cameo appearances into starts? He's got to keep doing what he's doing. Um, I said the, 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 I think Tyrone and Vance have started up front. The last three games they've started have been Forest Green, Notts County in the other night. So they've scored a few goals between them as well. But Alex is, he's shown signs that he can come on and affect the game. Um, it's a nightmare for opposition defenders because he is so quick. Um, we've, we've, we've told him what he needs to do and he's taking it on as well. So... He's one of many that are knocking on the door. People have come into the team who've been out of the team and affected it. And that's why they've stayed in the team. So if he keeps doing it and keeps doing it, and who knows when it'll happen. And his positivity the other night, all right, it might just be player scoring his first professional goal, but is he that positive all the time around the camp? Because if he is, I imagine that could be quite infectious. In no, a he, is, he is an infectious character. Um, 
the reaction of the when he did score his goal. Yes, it it meant we won the game, but it he's a popular character. He is infectious. He's like that all the time. So he's been a positive around the dressing room when it was a little bit all doom and gloom and a bit down in the dumps because he he's just that, that that sort of character. He, he his character's like his like the way he plays, a bit of a live wire, a um, bit random at times, but he's you know, he's. He's he's come in and done well, and like, so hopefully we'll, uh, we can see more of that. And you talk about people who have come in and, and done well. How much stronger do you feel the squad is now than when you arrived? It depends what you mean by stronger. It's stronger as in I think the mentality is slightly better. It's stronger as regards to the fitness. It's definitely better. It's less on numbers, um, but it's more coachable now. It's more. Um, they're starting to understand what I want from them and what I expect from them and what they're going to get from me as well. So but it's always going to take time. Um, and we're not saying that we've, we've arrived. We're not saying that it's, oh, we'll, we'll be all right now. Not, not at all. Go back to what I just said. We know exactly where we are and what we need to do. Injuries, how's the squad? Uh, Johnny Mullins, hopefully, is going to tick all the boxes. So... He'll um, he'll be available. Jacob Maddox is the other one. We're we're not. He wasn't ready the other night. We're not sure whether he's going to be ready this week or not. So we've got enough people in the group that um, obviously um, Liam McAlinden he'll be back in involved. Sam Jones will come back involved as well. So it's we won't be low on numbers.